What is up guys, this is Moose Mike from Deadly Domination Gaming and tonight we're going to play some Dying Light. Now it is the first of the month and I don't know if you guys have checked it out, but Dying Light added this cool little thing into the game where I guess you get a shot of Anazin and you become unbelievably powerful with your melee attacks and different things like that, so as you can see here we're just kicking some zombies, sending them flying. It's pretty incredible how powerful you become. It's freaking sweet. I hope you guys have checked this out. Um, apparently, I guess it only lasts for 24 hours, so luckily for me, I was able to get off work in time to where I could give it a shot. But Now, I believe this is just for your punches and your kicks that makes you super powerful. I don't think it's for your regular melee attacks with your knives and swords and stuff like that, because it seems to be doing just regular damage, but... <laughs> you can see drop kick and they just go flying. Alright, this guy got okay, we're gonna take this guy out. Yeah, I'm just like trying to find nests of zombies just to take care of them. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this video. It's so much fun. We're having tons of fun with it. I wish it was longer than twenty four hours, but hey, I mean I guess you get what you get, but it's it's freaking awesome. So I'm going to run over here to see if we can find some of these guys. Check us out. A little runner, no match for us. Take that guy. <laughs> that dude just went flying. Like, he disappeared, like, halfway through his flight. Alright, kick her. Yeah, as you can see, like, the melees with the, uh, I'm using the angel sword. It's doing, like, regular damage. Like, it's not anything spectacular but the kicks and the punches the run punches and the drop kicks you can see we just smashed that dude off a telephone pole right there yeah if you guys haven't tried this out I would suggest you try it out as soon as possible I don't know when it's going to go back to normal but I know it's been going on for some time now so it's probably not going to be too long before this is over but it's this freaking awesome okay so yeah guys, um, I'm real sorry, probably about the last week or so I haven't uploaded any videos or anything like that. I've been really busy with work and stuff and taking care of some priorities, but I have a lot of stuff lined up for you guys. Just picked up Battlefield Hardline the other day. I've been playing a lot of that. I'm going to have a lot of videos of that for you guys. This campaign's awesome on that game and also the multiplayer. So I hope you guys have checked out that game. Let me know if you have. And also check me out at www.facebook.com slash Deadly Domination Gaming. And uh, check out my YouTube channel, like and subscribe to it. I'd really appreciate it. I want to see hear you guys' feedback and hopefully you guys enjoy my channel and my page. So as you can see, we just do this little run punch here and it just takes these guys out. If you don't kill them, you can always just kick them in the face when they're down. It takes care of them pretty easy as usual. But yeah, guys, like, I really enjoy uploading these videos for you guys. It's just so much fun. It's just something I've been wanting to do for a very long time now. It is a lot of work to do it. Believe me, it is a lot of work. It's very time-consuming. You have to have the passion for it. Like, it's not just something that you can say, oh, you know, I'm going to do this. Like, you really have to be motivated to do it. And I am because it's just something I really enjoy and I feel hey you know why not do something you really enjoy so I'm hoping a lot of you guys check it out and share them with your friends maybe maybe you know it's different games I play you guys would be interested in want to check them games out maybe pick them up that's kind of my goal here so yeah so back to Dying Light um, I I'm really liking this like promotional type thing that they're doing with this because it's just like really fun and I'm gonna use a little conducting fluid here to see if I can uh, that didn't work out too well but yeah it's just a lot of fun I really hope they do more th more things like this especially with me because like I'm kind of decent at this game but I'm not like up there with the greatest like I've seen some videos of some people doing some crazy stuff on this game that I could never imagine doing but I'm hoping to get to that level but honestly for me like since this games came out I have purchased a few games after I bought this game but it's just 
so far one of the funnest games I think that I've picked up for a next gen type game. I just have a lot of fun with it. It doesn't get boring. Like there's always something you can do, even if you've completed the um, main missions and the side missions. There's still some things you can do on it, and I guess there's going to be more DLCs coming out in the future. So definitely be looking out for that. <laughs> but right now we're just wheeling and dealing, taking these guys out, no problem, lining them up, just kicking them in the face. As you can see there, just drop kick that dude, took out this dude's legs. Just so much fun, so much ease. Alright, let's see if we can find a couple more of these guys, take them down. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. Like I said, this is a big passion for me, and I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. And it's just awesome that I can share these experiences with you guys and get you guys' feedback for them and stuff like that because I have a lot more stuff coming for you guys. i got some time on my hands now. Now I can kind of get back to doing what I do best and that's gaming. Now I do have some more Destiny coming for you guys. I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting. I love Destiny so much. Can't wait till the new DLC comes out. House of Wolves. Been kind of getting all my guardians ready for that. Oh, look at this nest here. See if we can take these guys out without dying. Every time I use a freaking conducting fluid, I can never execute my angel sword. Let's back up a little bit. Maybe we could try it again here. I could just hit one of these guys. There we go. You can see, just kick them around a little bit. They kind of like bounce around. Tons of fun. Take that guy out. Send that guy flying. It's cool kicking them because they fly around. But I think my favorite part is like drop kicking them because they. I mean, they go soaring through the air. Yeah, you guys, you guys out there that have dying light that haven't tried this yet, jump on this shit quick. Try it out before the time limit runs out to where you can do it, because you will definitely be missing out if you haven't tried this. Like I said, guys, check me out at www.facebook.com slash deadlydominationgaming and check out my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe for some more great videos. As I said, I got some Battlefield Hardline coming for you guys. Just pick that up. I got some more Destiny. I got some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It's in all kinds of stuff. I'll even play some older games if you guys are interested. I also have um, The Evil Within, too. I've played that game a little bit here and there. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that like that game. I was kind of surprised. I'm not a huge fan myself, but... I haven't played the game throughout the whole way, so I am interested in doing that. Maybe uh, I'll post a few videos of that, and you guys can check them out. It's a fun game. It's scary. But um, also, there is a PlayStation exclusive game called Bloodborne, which just recently came out. I was thinking about trying that out. I don't know. It doesn't... I don't know. It doesn't really seem like my type of game, but maybe I'll try it out, especially if you guys want to see me try it out. You know, I'll give it a shot, see what happens. But maybe, you know, from... I guess the trailer doesn't really speak for everything, but I'd definitely give anything a shot. So we're just going to kick these guys in the face a little bit. Kind of knock the shit out of all them guys. Rip out the gun a little bit. Don't like using the gun too much in this game. It's just not that type of game to where you're, you know, you're supposed to be using guns and stuff like that. But every once in a while it helps out a little bit, I guess. I just kind of like crafting weapons and seeing which ones are the strongest and so on and so forth. But... As you can see right now, these kicks and punches are pretty much stronger than anything else. It's just freaking awesome. I can't believe Dying Light did something like this. But honestly, I read about this on Facebook. I seen it on their Facebook page. And for 
for a few seconds I thought maybe it was like an April Fool's joke or something like that. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try this out just to see what happens because I thought maybe it was just something for April Fool's that really didn't, you know, it wasn't true or something and maybe they were just screwing around and was going to tell us they were messing around, you know, not long after. But as you can see, it's no April Fool's joke. It's legit. <laughs> Took that guy down. The old angel sword always helps out when you need it. You can see these zombies are just absolutely no match. Drop kick a couple guys. So again, I think I've told you guys before, I am playing this on the PlayStation 4. That is my console of choice. It's the console I own. I've always been a PlayStation fan. I do own every PlayStation console. Pretty exciting. Um, I guess I, I don't really play the other consoles too much. The PS3 I do play every so often, but the PS1 and PS2, they're kind of just like a memorabilia type thing just something I keep you know just you know we were kids you know that's all we did was play the old playstations that was like the greatest thing since sliced bread when they came out so just gonna take care of some business here take these guys down but yeah I'm thinking maybe for my next video uh, maybe I will do another dying light I'm not a hundred percent sure may try to figure out something on Dying Light fun for you guys. Maybe I'll play some of that, or maybe I'll play some um, Battlefield Hardline if you guys are interested. I know that it's a pretty high-selling game. It's not your typical Battlefield game. I mean, it's it definitely branches off into a whole different kind of world, but it's tons of fun. The graphics are amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, maybe I'll try that out a little bit, but stay tuned, guys, because you know, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, but it'll be something exciting. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's been a lot of fun. And the reason I do this is just to share it with you guys. And that's the biggest thing. So, so we got a big herd of guys here. No problem for our little boot to the face. The old big boot right in the head, followed by the angel sword, followed by a big boot to the face. Yeah, this kind of, I understand, it's kind of like cheating or something. This is like a big freaking cheat in the game, but it's still, you know, what can you say? It's, it's fun, because who knows when it's going to happen again. So, any of you guys out there that don't have Dying Light that are watching this video... I strongly, strongly suggest you pick it up. If you're an open world game fan and you're a zombie fan, this is the game for you. This, in my mind, beats the hell out of any Dead Island game ever made. Any any zombie specific game that's been ever made. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Have plenty more for you guys to come. Again, my name is Moose Mike from Deadly Domination Gaming. Check back soon. It's been a lot of fun, guys. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you on our next video.